Here's the worst story that I have in the 10 years of being a recruiter. This one happened really early on in my career, and I am surprised I didn't quit after this happened. My name is Joe Lodge. I've been in recruiting for coming up to a decade. You can go verify me on LinkedIn. I've got 180 followers. So early on in my career, I got to work with one of our bigger accounts. I was really excited. It was a chance for me to impress. It was a chance for me to win a big, big piece of business. And I was all around really, really excited. So I met with the VP of the division that I was going to be working with. And essentially, they were looking for a salesperson. You know, a hunter, somebody who's going to be a go-getter, somebody that's going to uh, close some big accounts. So I set out and I found some really great candidates. And within three days, I'd already had like five conversations. But one conversation really stuck out. The candidate demonstrated tons of experience. She was looking for a new job, just wasn't happy where she was at, and everything looked like it lined up. She'd closed some huge deals, um, just a great person, had tons of stories, connected really, really well, and she was really excited about the position. And of course, early on, we established that uh, the position was within the range that she was targeting and we were willing to pay. So all of the big stuff was covered. She sounded like a culture fit. Everything looked amazing. So I took those notes that I had, I summarized them, uh, sent over the resume, the LinkedIn page, and those that note summarization. Everything looked amazing, and I thought, this is it. I'm going to get my first placement. So a couple of days, and nothing's come through. And then suddenly, uh, after about two days, I get a message from the VP. And it's a really, really bizarre message. It basically has um, an illness, and then a definition of the illness encircled is how long this person has to live if they have the illness. And I'm thinking, what is going on? And then attached to that email, there is a link to um, an image. And so I just think, okay, I'm going to click this image. It's from the VP. It's got to mean something to do with the search. And when I click the image, it's a screenshot uh, or screen share image of uh, a UCARE page. So for anyone who doesn't know, UCARE is like a group fundraising page. And, uh, and so I'm looking, just thinking, why is he sending this to me? Uh, and then I look closely and I see uh, the picture of... Uh, the Canada that I had sent over. And I thought, what is going on? Um, and then I see that it's a fundraising page uh, for a particular type of cancer. And it happened to be the same type of cancer that the VP had sent me, circled how long the person has to live. At this moment, I was shocked. I was really pissed off. And I didn't really know what to do. So I told my boss, said, look, I'm not going to work with this person because this is just a really weird message to send. Um, I know what he's getting at. I know they wanted someone long term, but this is not the way to give this type of feedback. And honestly, I feel sick. Now, one of my friends at the time, he had actually lost his daughter. So I'd already been to a funeral that was terrible to go through. And then a couple of days later, I get this email and it, it kind of just sent me off. So I told my boss, I was like, I'm not going to work on this account. Now, subsequently, they fired uh, this account. We never worked with that person again. Um, and we decided not to do business with the company. But I learned a shocking lesson that day. Here's the lesson. Not everybody in corporate America, not everybody who's in leadership is a good person. Just because somebody's successful, it doesn't mean that they're ethical or they think about people or treat people the right way. It was a huge lesson to me. And when I saw this, I realized that there's just so much bias and inequality in the hiring process as it is. But then you start to see this stuff and you realize that some of these people aren't even good people. So don't be impressed by titles. Don't be impressed by success. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't make you a good person. Sad that I had to learn that lesson that way. But now you can just learn it from this video.